Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. My name is Alexandra Chiripano. I'm your favorite artist. And today, like every week now, I'm making a lesson for you how to make something uh, simple in realistic art. Actually, uh, it's, uh, I don't think I'm making lots of lessons like this. I'm making a few, maybe, maybe more. I don't know. It's maybe I have a mood for more, you know. So today I want to show you how to draw with scotch. And uh, it's a uh, scotch can be different type. Some of this looks like looks like a tree, looks like a wound, like a branch, uh, just a uh, dog. You know and uh, some of this can be big or small you know they can be really very different all of them because it's nature uh, and you can make you can buy this or you can make it uh, on your backyard <laughs> just uh, just uh, put it in a metal can and uh, uh, dig it, uh, bury it uh, under fireplace, and then it starts in here like this one. It's a not big deal, and but also you can buy this. Actually, lots of lots of brand making this, and it's uh, not big deal to find this. And a different way, it can be like a pastel. It can be like a pastel. Uh, it's not advertising. I'm just show you how it looks like. Uh, it's made by pushing this, so it's a different way, but it's uh, still kosher. And they are really very very different. If you start to draw this with this it's absolutely different ways so uh it's your choice what you can uh what you want to draw and how it's happened but i'm trying to show you how exactly it's going and then we're making a uh, one simple uh still life and i'm just show you how it's going so i'm sure for you this one upside down and then I return this maybe. I don't know, maybe don't return. <laughs> of course return it now. Just kidding. So this type it's called just just the Robin Cultural and different type like a pastel you can see what difference yes but it's not so big when I start and make like this one you see this different more stronger I don't need a riser for this one because I can just use my finger and for this one Eraser is useless because it's too dark. So it's in short what difference between these colors. Uh, by the way, I use uh, water watercolor paper for uh, demonstrate what I'm doing. Actually, all this uh, all this uh, brand uh, is uh, kosher and watercolor paper don't pay me nothing. But if they want, I'm okay with this. <laughs> So uh, today I will also show you how to draw uh, simple still life and also I'm sure you how made this still life because uh, you know some people don't know how exactly made this. It's really very really <laughs> Take just chair. No matter how this chair looks like. 
just fruit, waste and butter and whatever you have and piece of fabric. Uh, lots of people think it's some special piece of uh, piece of fabric, but actually it's just a pants. It can be just t-shirt, whatever. And uh, use whatever whatever you have, and it's uh, not big deal. Because why we make it still life? Actually, still life it's a little boring stuff, but we use this because it's uh, best way for practice. If you cannot make nothing your first few exercises good for you if you make with still life and uh, if you want professional way you need more still lives of course everything what we're doing here it's just really very very little because you know for realistic art you should spend 10 years or sometimes 20 years just for learning this it's not just uh, uh, you know it's it's more complicated thing and uh, of course uh, i like a modern art too and i'm a draw of this and it's it's not easy it's not easy but it's different way it's uh, in uh, realistic art it's more craft way and we make this like uh, practice and practice and practice it's the uh, most good thing what you can do <laughs> it's just practice and practice years by years by years and every day, absolutely every day, no vacation, <laughs> no, just every day practice with drawing and painting. If you like, uh, really, really like classic art, or you want to start with classic art and then go in modern uh, art, it's not so hard, but you, you also uh, work it hard with this in first time, in first time. So in modern uh, art, it's uh, not so, craft thing it's not by hand uh, almost it's by hand but most importantly it's idea it's philosophic meaning it's uh, emotional stuff you know so it's uh, how it's going of course in uh, classic art if we watching how it's going for uh, really really big artists uh, they make uh, his his art in uh, in lots of different way of course but almost it can be figurative composition with lots of people and philosophic meaning too and everything of course it's uh, very important too but but they also always always make craft thing like uh, they making it by hand and it's uh, uh, his drawing and it's like really like craft because they may spend lots of years to <laughs> to learn this so today i starting to do this uh, still life i'm show for you how make this uh, and uh, after this after this we try something different i guess so use uh, really little I use small piece of paper why because I want to show you this in short more biggest uh, paper is for complicated always and uh, in first time I am advice for you making with biggest paper because biggest paper is more complicated and you making more mistakes and it's strange but it's good for you if you making mistakes on little paper you don't see this almost but if you're making this on biggest uh, you see this and everybody sees this and you can um, find this and uh, fix this so but if you want <laughs> with more easy way of course make your way easy i'm advised don't do this i'm advised uh, trying trying always trying so uh we're making this and uh, in first uh, time i'm just making sketch for you i don't make like a serious uh, drawing because you know it's a long time and i want to make short way how shows this and first i'm making just chair i'm imaginarium like this chair is empty 
because I need to understand how it's going. You know, I'm making uh, with lots of line, I'm making mistakes and I don't care because I can erase it. So, in general, that's all. As you can see, it's a kind of chair, but of course, I need to make all lines more carefully. In first time, I don't uh, think about this because in first time, most important thing, every uh, artwork I start in with this is composition. Uh, I think maybe I can make a special video for composition too, uh, but. Uh, Composition is the uh, most important science in art because whatever you're doing, uh, drawing, painting, photo, video, whatever, you need strong composition. So composition is a science about where is exactly subjects in a uh, list, where is exactly it's uh, on picture, on photo, or whatever. <laughs> so. It's uh, most importantly because if you make a million mistakes, but your composition is perfect, it looks perfect. So, uh, in first time, I make it with sketching line and just trying to understand where is exactly I want to put these subjects. Actually, it's a good idea making video about composition. Why I don't before? Hmm? Why you don't ask me? Okay. <laughs> so why I don't before I don't know I make this I think so maybe if I have time and if I have more. So uh, the point is the point is uh, in first time I'm advice for you don't make fabric. Why? Because the five fabric is um, complicating. In first time, I am twice making still life without fabric. It's not only with cultural style. It's uh, I mean, this cultural material. It can be. Uh, So I'm making this like a sketch and first time it's like a sketch and that's all. So next what I'm doing, next I'm making like we're making before, I'm making middle line, symmetric line and all other lines on subjects like a bottle and less and compared left and right. If you watching um, my uh, different video, you know how to make this. So good for you if you stop right now and go in and making how making was if you don't know how to make it. Uh, here I don't uh, show you how to make this because it's long time and we uh, need to make it faster, I think. You see how I make this, yes? So it's this one, by the way. It's this one. Lots of people think it's like a pastel, but it's, it is not. And uh, what you should know about this type of pochu? Can you see this in middle? Uh, it's uh, just uh, because it's real tree and uh, it's not the same like here and inside, outside and inside, it's not the same. So if you want to sharpen this, good for you if you take a knife 
and making just like this one by Jagannath. But uh, it's uh, not necessary. Most people just don't shop in this and continue like this one. For a small detail, we just choose more smaller part. So it's a uh, work like this. And uh, you can see I am used especially for you minimal. So I don't use ether or something what you maybe don't have at your house. So it's especially for this because you know it's not necessary thing. It's good for you if you have, but if you don't, don't worry. In first time you need just minimal. So in short, how making fabric. Fabric is one of uh, the complicated thing. And uh, actually it's uh, making with gradient. So it means it's dark places, then light and light and light, like we're making with egg. But here it's more complicated. And this part is darker and this dark too, but different dark. And uh, here it can be changed and everything. So actually, Kocho is not so strong, uh, think like a pencil. So it's uh, most uh, like sketch stuff. It's not making so in a realistic way how pencil ma can make. But we also can make different shadows. You can see what's happened here. It's uh, just, I just begin with this. It's not done. Uh, and uh, what I'm making now, I'm making the sketching line and now I'm trying to make this more carefully. It's uh, just normal way and first making with lots of line, with sketching line and then more carefully. It's not uh, just one way. You can use a uh, different way too. It's, uh, you can be surprised, but in classic art too, we have a few different, uh, few different art school and a few different decor school. I mean, it's like Italian art school, like uh, Netherlands art school or like uh, Chinese art school. I told you before, maybe you remember this, but if don't, don't worry about this. So in general, uh, in classic school, uh, in classic art, we have different ways too. Some of these uh, ways making with sketch line and some of these ways make everything in geometry. So just make every subjects like, like this one in first and then making a circle way, you know. So all this, all this good. Both of the good. I use both, by the way. If you think I use one, you're wrong, I use both. Because I making lots of different things and, you know. People who care exactly about classic art, uh, they very often choose one school, uh, one type of classic art and make only this one. Because I'm almost modern artist, so I'm making all of this. And, you know. For beginner and for people who make it for fun, I'm advised trying all. And also for people who want to make modern art after this. Thank you. 
I'm watching, try and repeat how exactly it's going. Trying to follow off nature. Making shadows. In first we're starting with more dark places and then more and more lighter. We make it often. And so you know, more dark places, of course, it's falling shadows. If you're watching different video, you know this. And uh, then own shadow. So we're making sketch with this. So with pencil, we make hatching and it's very important. And here it's not so so big deal because we smear everything. Uh, we make same thing in pastel and in sepia and in different culture too. So, but it's uh, smell differently, absolutely differently. And always it's it's interesting always. I like this actually. I like uh, exactly smell this by finger. It's it's uh, it's wonderful feeling. So the point is, I'm making sometimes when I want to darker place, I'm making few levels. And uh, sometimes I make it near and sometimes far. So, and uh, it's changed everything. And also different thing how make on this big space. You just make it like this one, for example. And uh, you can make the same thing with pasta, with sepia, with whatever. And next step, you guess what? So it's one of the way I'll make this with but not once. I'm also show you just little how works a different one because it's uh, good too. And for this one I am use eraser. Actually I can use it here too. But if you use eraser, just remember this. You use it only for this one because it's starting to be really dirty. Some people can wash in this and it's work but with some eraser it's don't work. So just know about this. So what we're doing next? Next we put here fixage and make it like this. And uh, it starts in the dry and then it's good. Or put it under glass because if we don't, I'm just making like this and it's uh, disappear, you know. So next. I will show you next sketch. Just little, just with this one, just for understanding how it looks like exactly. I make just battle with this 
fish. I think so. So I make sketch at first. Then next step I'm making this one. And I try and don't push strongly, but it don't work sometimes. Because you know what's happening. It's uh, like this. This one is more in a careful thing. It's more um, you can make a more realistic thing with this, but in general, it's too few sketches because uh, it's not like a pencil. You no, know, actually, you can use a special pencil with this, and this one is much better. But uh, it's not mean. It's not means it's bad. It's just for different way. You make it for something uh, something fast. And I think it's good because, uh, you know, in a really realistic drawing, for example, for, for portraits, you need uh, 30 uh, house, just just make it 40 house, so and it's uh, uh, just for portraits. And of course, if you want to, if you live in real life, <laughs> it's uh, sometimes it's too complicated. So it's how it's uh, going with butter and fish and uh, shadow. So why is for sketch only? Because uh, shadows here is too dark. And if I don't push strongly, it's um, still dark because it's, because it's uh, black. So, And of course, you know what we're making this one. We make it only on big uh, space. And if we make something smaller, it's not necessary. For example, if I make, um, I'm used also eraser like, uh, like a pencil pen. If I'm making this one, I don't make this because it's a small detail. A small detail, I don't make this. Well, of course, I think you guess about this. Time to don't push strongly, make this very gently because uh, here is very, very easy making it too dark. It's very easy. And you know, if I rise this, nothing happens sometimes. So I'm, I should just cover this because it's so going on this way. It's not a big deal, we cover, of course, but just know about this. like this sometimes and I think you do. So here is uh, one direction, different direction and different direction again. And actually shadows and light here is should be different too. And I'm used different finger because uh, I want to save this place more light. I don't know if you see this or not, but it's more lighter. And here we're making gradient because it's a circle thing.
how it's how it's going. How it's going. Yeah. And you know what? If you're still here, I'm sure you like a bonus different material. And it's not a super popular material. It's uh, not everybody knows about this material actually. But I know, and uh, long time uh, I'm really like this. Sorry about my dog. They like a music class. <laughs> so, trying to guess what material I mean. You can comment right now, I'm just interested. It's a similar like, like Cochul, but different. And not, it is not shoot. And just because for it. <laughs> so, and same thing here. We should uh, cover this by special spray or cover pastel and everything. Or just uh, put it under glass or in your uh, sketchbook and uh, cover with different piece of paper because if I make like this it's not a disappear like in last one but it's uh, make it must much be much badly <laughs> you know so sketch number two and about my surprise this one it's called sepia uh, it's a uh, glue by the way so uh, it's uh, dry and uh, it's uh, just few color have just few color and you can choose what you like uh, and maybe you combine some of this and mix it together maybe not it's absolutely a choice it's uh, like a pastel uh, but not exactly like this. It's a uh, little different. I'm sure you how it's going. And uh, for this one, I um, use again watercolor paper. But also for a uh, cushion, you can use pastel of paper, paper for pastel, and uh, craft paper. It's your choice. I don't use craft paper in this lessons because. Uh, I like craft paper by the way, it's so good and uh, it's uh, really ecology stuff, but uh, I mean <laughs> nature friendly stuff. But uh, on this video, I should use exactly white paper because the camera is don't work like this, don't work so good uh, for uh, show everything to you. I don't know. I'm choosing this one, that one, maybe this one today. I like red colors. So I don't want to <laughs> change my still life because you know what. So, and uh, I want to show you in short everything. And um, now I make sketch with different type and to actually you can see how lots of still lives we can make in just with one still lives I'm just uh, change composition way and uh, make it differently change uh, how subjects uh, various subjects where it's exactly the and sometimes uh, take away some subjects what I don't need now and it's okay because it's art, it's uh, drawing and it's not photograph so I can uh, take away some subjects that I don't need or don't like, it's, it's okay. It's uh, your choice. But actually in uh, people who make only classic art exactly don't agree with this and sometimes uh, if, uh, for example, in portrait, if a human have uh, some problem with, uh, uh, not with face, with face it's a problem, it's, it's okay. Uh, I mean, some problem with clothes or, for example, some button is taken away or something like this. 
uh, realistic drawing sometimes draw for exactly without this button or something. It's uh, always uh, strange for me, but uh, of course everybody have different choices, you know. It's absolutely normal. Everything normal, it's, it's art, no rules. Only rules what we create for yourself. They are important, are they not? So, same thing we're making here. I don't push and make it very, very, very gently. You know. I'm always saying, you know, I guess you're okay with this. I can part left and right how I made before, and it's good. So in general, in general, it's uh, like a kochu number one. Just, uh, it's like a kochu number two, I'm sorry. I like this one. So it's uh, most like a pastel. But if you try to make this, you understand the texture is different, how it smells different. So if you try it by finger, by hand, you understand it's not the same material. It's absolutely not. And also, it uh, looks like it's different. Of course, because it's brown, and because uh, when I done with this, you see difference. I make these brushes too, and of course I'm making falling shadows the first time, and then continue with the other shadow. Falling shadow too. I can use this way here and here maybe if I want to do this I do this actually if you don't like exactly realistic drawing and it's not what you truly desire you should think about maybe some this graphic material more uh, works more good for you. It's not advertising, you know, they don't pay me for this. If they want, I don't. <laughs> don't worry, I'm okay with this, but they don't. So uh, I'm just uh, show you how it looks like. And also, uh, you can buy uh, not only sepia, you can buy uh, sepia pencil like this, and also with a uh, little different brown uh, color. It can be different tone too. And of course, uh, lots of people mix this, and uh, for big diesel, uh, for big space, uh, use big one, and for Small space uh, use uh, pencil.
In pastel and in material like this, making slowly gradient, it's no big deal. We just cut in like this one and continue here and then erase some part. You know, so it's more easy way if compared with how to make with any different material. And um, also pastel and uh, sepia and pocho uh, is a harmonic with each other and himself. So it's uh, very, I think it's most uh, simple material what we can have. And I say you again, uh, like I said before, uh, I think pastel and uh, material like this, sepia and uh, cultural, it's best material for people who make it for fun. Because this pencil, it's um, a bit of more complicated. We also can use uh, color to pen paper for this. with every color that you like. You can see it's not uh, smell so good if compared with this one. It's a lot different, but it's not bad. It's just different material. It's just a uh, lot different. So in general, I done with the sketch, and uh, same thing how I said before. You can use special uh, spray for this, and uh, or cover this by a glass or different piece of paper. Ooh. <laughs> So guys, I hope you enjoy this video and uh, really like this. If you like this, push big finger, big finger, biggest finger. Maybe if you finger like this, it's okay too. Because you know, as a part is through the process, <laughs> of course, it's, uh, it's okay. So, uh, and uh, I think I continue on with uh, video lessons like this. And uh, of course, subscribe, because if you, subscribe and push on bell you see lots of video i think maybe i take care about my youtube channel more and start and making more and more and more video i hope so if it's uh, if it's possible and uh, you can see more and more video and uh, comment something and you know so what i want to comment for you i want to ask you what exactly you like most uh, this one uh, i means not uh, exactly picture i means material uh, i means what exactly material you like and uh, just let me know i'm just interested because all people uh, have different opinion about this and because it's art and million opinion <laughs> and it's good i think it's good uh, we both freedom person and you know so, see you next time. Bye, guys.